Maddie, and today I'm out and about doing some shopping. Do you like to go shopping? This shopping centre is full of shops, but some of them are on the floor below and some of them are on the floor above. And there's a clever way to help people get up and down. Do you know what this is? That's right, it's an escalator, a moving set of stairs. But do you know how an escalator works? Let's find out. How does it work? An escalator. Have you ever been on an escalator? I'm going to take this one to get to the floor below. And to get on an escalator safely, you have to wait for a step to appear, hold onto the handrail, and then quickly step on. Let's go. see that I'm stood still but I'm somehow moving. That's because the escalator is moving downwards and it's carrying me to the floor below. You should never play on an escalator but I've got special permission to take a closer look. Can you see how the steps just disappear here at this metal yellow edge? It looks a bit like a comb doesn't it? The steps go underneath and disappear. But where do they go and where do the steps come from? Well, to find out, we need to look inside and underneath an escalator. Inside an escalator, the stairs are linked together in one big loop. It moves round and round. The stairs are attached to two sets of wheels called gears, one at the top and one at the bottom. The gears at the top of the escalator are called round bike chains. They look a bit like a bike chain. The gears at the bottom run along a track like a train. The gears have teeth on them, and when they turn, they pull the loaded stairs around with them. Each step has small wheels on it. When a step reaches the top, the chain pulls the wheels around the gear until the step is flat again. It stays flat until it gets all the way back to the bottom, ready to go round again. Aren't escalators interesting? This is an escalator workshop, and we've got special permission to be here so that we can see what the underneath of a real life working escalator looks like. I'm going to use my special camera and a light to look underneath the escalator and see what we can find. Let's start by reminding ourselves what the steps actually look like. The curved bit is the side of the step, and then the flat bit is the top. But now let's move underneath. This escalator is switched off, so I can safely put my camera underneath. Here you can see the underside of the steps that you stand on. Can you see the curved side and the flat bit on top? And if we can see even further underneath, here, that is where the steps are lying flat, ready to make their way back to the gear to be looped around. So we need to see the gear, don't we? And this is the gear at the top of the escalator. It looks a bit like a giant bike chain, doesn't it? This escalator is set to move people downwards, so the gear will pull the steps all the way around from their flat position underneath to their shape as a step we can stand on. I want to see what this escalator looks like when it's working, so I'm going to put two special cameras underneath and then we can turn it on. Let's go. The first one will help us see the underside of the stairs as they move along. The second camera will help us see the big gear at the top in action. Right, the cameras are in place. I'm stood well away from the escalator, so it's time to turn it on. Whoa! And there it goes! Did you hear that? That was the sound of the gear kicking into action and it's beginning to pull the steps around. But I think it sounds a bit like a spaceship taking off. So, you can see how the steps are being spun around the gear. They start off flat and then they unfold and become the shape of a step. 
Escalators can go in two directions. They can go down or they can go up. This escalator is going down, but shall we see it move the other way? <laughs> There's the sound of the spaceship again. So this time the steps are moving upwards. This time they start as a set and then they get pulled around the gear and they move all the way down underneath the escalator to the gear at the bottom. Amazing! What was your favourite bit about seeing how an escalator worked? Do you remember what you call the two big wheels that pulled the steps around? That's right, they're called gears. Did you hear the sound the gears made when they started moving? Did you see the way the steps get flipped upside down and turn the right way up when they come back round the loop again? So the next time you see an escalator like this or go on one yourself, you'll know just how it works and what's going on underneath. Escalators are great for helping us move up and down inside a building, but sometimes we need to move heavy things around. There's something really useful that helps us to move things around outside. Do you know what it is? That's right, it's a wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrows have a great big wheel at the front, two handles and a large container called a pan. It makes it really easy for me to move all of this from one place to another. And then when I'm ready, I can tip up the wheelbarrow and pour it all out. Wheelbarrows are really useful, but do you know how they're made? Let's find out. How is it made? A wheelbarrow. This is a wheelbarrow factory, and inside are lots of robots. All these robots are making different parts of a wheelbarrow. It's like they're doing some kind of dance, isn't it? But not everything is made by robots. People and robots have to work together. When a wheelbarrow is made, it starts off like this, as a sheet of metal called steel. Steel is really strong and it's used to make all sorts of things like bridges, cars, even pots and pans. First, the sheet of steel is fed into this machine. A huge weight presses down on the sheet and folds it around a mould. When the metal comes out the other end, it's starting to look a little bit like a wheelbarrow. And now it's time for the robots. This robot picks up the pan and passes it to another machine. It cuts around the side of the pan. The robot then collects the bits that are left over. It's a little bit like the bits of leftover pastry from when you use a pastry cutter. these yellow robots and watching the way they pick up the metal pan and swing it to the next machine, they know exactly when to pick it up and where to put it. The pan is put in this machine which makes four holes in it. These holes will be used to attach the wheels and handlebars later on. In here are lots of long poles. They're made of steel too, and they're going to become the wheelbarrow's handles. But, but how does something long and straight become two handles? Well, that's thanks to some more robots. And they're very noisy. The first robot bends the ends of the pole to make a small curved shape. Then it bends the whole thing in the middle to make a larger curve. And you end up with something like this. It's a funny shape, isn't it? But if you hold it in this position, you can see it's a pair of handlebars. I'm going to put one of my special cameras on the robot to see what it's like when it's working. Here goes. The robot is programmed like a computer to know exactly what to 
do. Look how that robot arm picks up the handle and knows exactly where to put it. Let's see what happens next. To connect all the bits of our wheelbarrow together, we need to use these. They're called fittings and they help fit things together. But we need to attach these to our handlebars. Come with me and I'll show you how they do it. It's called welding and it's a special way of attaching two pieces of metal together. That white spark is really, really hot and it melts the metal so that they glue to one another. Whoa! With all those sparks flying around, I have to stand well back. Look how bright that is! Can you see the sparkles? It's like a firework. It sounds like a firework too, doesn't it? Time for the finishing touches and the wheelbarrow handles are going to be given a coat of paint inside this machine. And here they are coming out the other side. They've been sprayed with a powdered grey paint. But before it's finished, they go into the oven. The oven bakes the paint so it goes shiny. Here they come. Don't they look shiny and new? Ready? be fitted together, but we're still missing one thing. Can you guess what all these wheelbarrows are missing? It's a wheel and it needs to be fixed to the wheelbarrow. Let's see how it's done. The handlebars are fixed to the pan by putting bolts through the holes that the robot made earlier. Next, the wheel is attached using a fitting. And there we have it. A brand new shiny wheelbarrow. What was your favourite bit about seeing how a wheelbarrow was made? Do you remember what you call the metal that the wheelbarrow was made from? That's right, it's steel. <laughs> Did you hear the sound the welding made? And did you see my special camera when I put it on the robot? We got to see everything the robot sees when it's busy working. So, the next time you see a wheelbarrow, you'll know just how it's made. And when you go on an escalator, you'll know how it works and how it carries people from one place to another. Right, I'm off to do some gardening. So, from me and the robots, see you next time.